As of SharePoint 2013 tips for developers, today we would like to discuss how to create a SharePoint external list from SQL Server using Business Data Connectivity Services and Secure Store Service. In this scenario, you are a SharePoint developer. You're working in a company on a SharePoint website. And on this SharePoint website, you have some of the company information. But your boss is asking you to make some major enhancements on the website. These enhancements include a table, uh, not that table, yes, uh, a table in a database to provide the data to the SharePoint site. And now it's your time to do your magic and somehow bring the data inside SharePoint. And to do this, you already talked to the database administrator and this guy provided you with this information. The server that SQL Server is running on it is called Basement. The instance name is Boss. The database name is BossDB. The database username is going to be my boss, and the password is going to be Boss is great, and the table name is Boss Table. In this video, we would like to show you how to configure the secure source service how to configure the business data connectivity service. Then we put them together and we create an external content type inside SharePoint. And based on that external content type, we create an external list. Finally, we test and verify uh, the data on SharePoint. Okay, you remember this guy, right? I mean, I, I really don't trust this guy, but regardless, even if he looks like this, I still prefer to verify my connection. So as of step zero, let's verify the connection first. To verify the connection, I just go straight to SQL Server Management Studio and I try to make the connection to that database engine. I put the server name, which is called basement, if you can remember. The instance name is called boss. I was instructed that I should use SQL Server Authentication. The login name that the DBA provided is called my boss, and the password is boss is great. Well, I'm luckily connected. I just expand the databases, boss DB, and I just expand the tables, and I see boss table and I just say select 1000 records, perfect. And you will see there is some super valuable data here. Let's get back to our slides. So the first step is to configure the secure store service. To configure the secure store service, we get back to SharePoint Central Administration and we go to the application management and we go straight to manage service applications. We scroll down till we find the secure store service. If you click on the secure store service for the first time, and I assume that this is your development environment, it says before creating a new secure store target application, you must first generate a new key for the secure store application from the ribbon. So I just click on the generate the new key and I got to enter the passphrase for the database. I just pick up a password for it. Okay, uh, by the way, please remember, you gotta store this password somewhere secure. Uh, there is no way you can remember this password or extract it somewhere from the system. I just click on OK, and we're good to go. Next step is that we need to create a secure store application for ourselves. So I just click on Manage Target Applications. So I click on the New, Target application ID, I call it boss app. Display name is going to be the same. Email is going to be boss at somewhere.com. Okay, target application type, I want it to be group. So I want anybody who goes into the SharePoint site be able to see the value next. Because we are using SQL authentication, I'm not using Windows username anymore. So I use username. And for the password, I will use password. And 
the name that I want to display is going to be the username and password and I click on next target application administrator I add my own name and members are actually the people that can get into it I would say everyone and I just click OK after we create our app we need to set the permissions for this so I just select it and I click on set and it tells me the uh, administrator which is already added in the real life you usually add some more people that they are uh, that they are allowed to change it now the credential that I want to attach is actually the credential that secure store application is going to take it and pass it to the target application which is our database server so the username that I have my boss the password and I just click OK now we are done with our secure store app now it's time to configure the business data connectivity service so let's get back again to SharePoint Central Admin and we go to manage service applications and we go to business data connectivity service so the first thing that we need to do we need to set the metadata store permissions I add everyone I add it and for everyone I provide execute permission and I click OK and that's pretty much it the rest of the job is done through the SharePoint designer now let's create an external content type to create an external content type we need to go to the SharePoint designer so I go to SharePoint designer 2013 I get back to the site I get the URL from the site while designer starts open site and I put the URL here I click open we are creating an external content type so I click on external content types and now I can create a new external content type I give it a name called boss content type and I want to discover and find my connection so I just add a connection you may notice that I can only connect to .NET type SQL server and WCF service data sources with no code solution so I just click on OK I get back to the information that I have my database server name is basement and the instance name is boss so back here basement boss database name is boss db and the name that I want to give to it is going to be boss db now this is the time that this guy is asking me for secure store application ID if you remember it's called boss app and I click on OK here's the interesting part your SharePoint designer tries to connect to your database directly not through secure store secure store is used for your SharePoint so this is the username and password that you need to provide to the database directly so again I go back here so again I go back to the data that I have the username and the password the SQL username and password is what you provide here so it's going to be my boss and the password is boss is great and I click on OK and I have the connection I just expand it and I see the tables here the columns and everything else so for this I select the boss table right click and I want to create read item operation for it just next done and I click on finish 
the other thing that you have to create is going to be a read list operation. So again, the same thing, I just click on next, next, and I just accept the defaults. So I just click on next, done. All you need to do, just save it, and you have your external content type here. Next, let's create an external list. Now the job is very easy. All you need to do, just select the boss content type and create an external list. I give it a name called boss important data and I click on OK. Okay, external list is created and if I click on the list and libraries, I will see this here. So the next step is to test and verify the data on SharePoint, which is just we go back to SharePoint and click on the boss date important data and here's the data that we have. End result, happy developer, happy cat, and happy someone else. Thank you for watching, stay tuned, more videos are coming.